Okay, Terry, what's important about the Occupy movement to you? It brings back, not brings back, but uh, it brings issues to the forefront that our local state and federal politicians or statesmen don't want to talk about. And we're bringing it up. And uh, we, we don't play games with the, with, the, with the people that we talk to, whether it's a politician, whether it's a, a business owner, or whether it's the man on the street. Because we tell them how, how the, real, the real story is. And, um, and also the, about the injustice that's going on. When you have, like they said, ni the 90% uh, pays more taxes than the 10%, and, and it's the middle class that's, that's supporting the rich and the poor, and they, they're not giving us a tax break, or they don't want to help us. That's what we're bringing it, that's what's important to me, bringing out these issues that are important, especially jobs. <coughs> Neither party, uh, Democrat or Republican, are talking about jobs. They, they say they, they want to bring the economy back, but they're really not. They're not addressing the Chinese uh, unbalanced trade with them. Also, the the yen, how they're undercutting the yen against our market, and uh, and the other unfair trade practices that that from Bush to na to now to this present day uh, administration that they're signing on, uh, they're it's unfair to the American worker, and uh, and also the education. Uh, they're cutting the budget for education, but they want an educated workforce, whether it's on a local, state, or federal level. Well, who's going to pay for it? The middle class or all of us? And I think all of us should pay for it, even the poor. They can, they can, we can find ways for the poor to chip in that's not going to hurt them, you know? So everyone has, has to pull their own weight to get this, uh, this country back on its feet. Not one one class, not one group, nor a local party. It's all of us.